Hmm. Let's see what he has here. CJ Watson, Del, Del Curry. Who is the Shake and Bake? <laughs> nah. Oh, no Mambas, no Vipers to stand in my way. Let's see what we can do here. Let's have some fun today. So it looks like the lineups have been set, and it's time to get this game started. Byron Mullins versus this monster. How am I supposed to win this tip off? Whoa, CJ Watson. Did he lose some weight? He's moving kind of fast out here. And I got to get the ball out of Del Curry's hands. We saw what he can do in the first round, and I'm not trying to have that happen to me. I tried to guard the outlet pass, but for some reason, they decided that CJ Watson demanded a triple team. Wow, this guy really loves his turbo. Well, we're going to guard the pass. We're going to guard the entry to the lane. Good steal. Good hands. Let's go down. Oh, what that? CJ Watson stole it? CJ Watson with the layup in the paint. Why are we not triple teaming him? Game's a little slow at the moment, but anyone who knows me knows that I'm going to heat up. And when I do, it's going to happen hard. It's going to happen fast, and it might get a little embarrassing. And uh-oh, team captain Patton Mills into the game. A fan favorite. Fake screen wide open from behind the line. Uh-oh, Novak bringing it up court. This has to be the longest he's dribbled all season. From Barnes, back to Captain Mills. And how many times is he going to fall for this? Come on, sharpshooter Patty Mills, he has more points than his team. And time's running out in the quarter. We're about to go see how clutch the league's best backup, backup point guard is. And he nails it! Unfortunately, it didn't count for nothing because it's after the buzzer. And I know he probably pissed off, he got four points. And I would be too. <laughs> Roger Bell checks into the game, back to CJ Watson, over to Craig Elo, no foul called on the three-point shot, a little bit of contact, and that was a dangerous pass. One dangerous pass deserves another. And by now, y'all should definitely know that I love my off-backboard alley-oops. <laughs> and he's going to give it to a quadruple-teamed Roy Hibbert. Just because you're big inside of a Trailblazers uniform doesn't make you Bill Walton or Arbita Sabonis. Oh my goodness, what a dunk. Man, that dunk got me hype. I think that right there might have been the game breaker. I don't know. Gerald Green is getting high, and when he gets out, he's dunking on people. He's making great passes. He gets in the way of the passing lanes. He runs down the court on the fast breaks to catch alley-oops. <laughs> Gerald Green's about to go off. Oh, great block by Terrence Ross. And we're fast breaking. We're fast breaking. And from one slam dunk champion to another. Oh, this is going to get ugly. And what happened to Curry? I was all nervous about him going into this game. He hasn't done anything except turn the ball over. Come on, Dell, Get it together. And it's a 2 on none. That's the off backboard to myself. Gerald Green, folks. Patty's bringing it up court and gets met with a quick double team. Where's Gerald Green? Oh, don't tell me they lost track of Gerald Green again. You would think after all of these dunks, they would have learned something by now. They need to do something. Oh, wait, it looks like he is doing something. <laughs> yeah, change something up real quick, because whatever you're doing ain't working. And Gatlock is giving Mills some trouble. <laughs> He's doing a good job of getting... Oh, Gerald Green happened again. Oh, Gerald Green's ahead of the pack? Oh, no, no. Come on, not again, not again. That's going to be five. Oh, my goodness. There should be a limit. This is getting nasty. I got a feeling that at the end of the game, Gerald's going to take his mask off, and it's going to be 97 Kobe. 97 Kobe. And a wild over the shoulder pass by CJ Watson. Who do you think you are? Obviously, you can't make that because your teammate couldn't hold on to it. The guy takes two bad shots, and with that, we're going to be running another fast break. It's a two on one, so you kind of know what's going to happen already. Number six will destroy that broke the camel's back, so I'll leave you with that, and I'll catch you guys next round. <laughs> So here we are for World Series Game 7. The series is tied up at 3 between the Nationals and the Angels here in Nationals Park in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. On the mound for the Nationals would be Stefan Strasburg taking on Jared Weaver of the Los Angeles Angels. And right into this game with a runner on first and 0-2 count to Albert Pujols. And Pujols is going to go down swinging. So that's two outs in the inning. Next up would be the number four hitter. Josh Hamilton and he has the same fate he goes down swinging on that changeup low and in the zone so that would be the end of the first inning so here we are in the bottom of the third now Kurt Suzuki steps in hits this one up the middle fielded well over there by the shortstop and Kurt Suzuki is out by half a step 
So Pujols back up to bat here, and this time in the fourth, he goes down looking on the curveball from Strasburg. So back-to-back -back at bats and back-to-back -back times, Pujols has been struck out. But Josh Hamilton, the number four hitter, well, he can do the same thing as Pujols. Two at-bats, two strikeouts, both of them struck out on the curveball here in the fourth inning. Strasburg had it working, but now into the fifth we go with one out. This one hit down the right field line, worth back to get it, but he can't get it just out of the jumping right fielder's range, and it's going to be a leadoff double for Chris Iannetta. So with the bases loaded now and one out, this one's hit into left center from the center fielder and this year's, or should I say last year's, AL Rookie of the Year, Mike Trout is going to get a sack fly. And now there's runners on first and third. So it's a one nothing lead here for the Angels before the next batter. And he's going to go ahead and hit this one up the middle for another RBI. So we would end up having to bring in Drew Storen later on in the game with runners on second and third. And we intentionally walk Hamilton even though he's had a bad game so far, so we can load up the bases, hoping for a double play, but after a strikeout, the next batter after that is going to fly it out to last year's National League Rookie of the Year, Bryce Harper. So we're out of that inning before here we go into the bottom of the ninth inning. This one down two to nothing so far after the sack fly and the single up the middle is going to be started off well here from Marlon Bird, but Bird is going to get picked off at first. Great move over there to throw it on to Pujols. So we're stuck in a little bit of a jam now with one out, one, two count. And it's a slider to Jason Worth, and Jason Worth is going to go down swinging. So it's up to Bryce Harper to keep this game alive. He hits it to deep right field, and it's over Hamilton's head, over in right. Harper is going to press for two, and Harper is going to get into second with a two-out double. So in steps the veteran Adam LaRoche. Here is the pitch, and Jared Weaver, you can kiss that one goodbye. Adam LaRoche with a two-run home run here to tie this game up in the bottom of the ninth inning. So we were down by two for a few innings now before Adam LaRoche, the veteran, is going to take this one deep into right center field for a two-run home run. But on came Tyler Clippert in the 10th, and he did his job fielding this one off of his chest. He's going to go ahead, pick it up, and throw him out at first. Into the top of the 11th we go, we bring in the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup to take on Josh Hamilton, and Hamilton goes down swinging. Later on in the inning with two outs, 0-2 count, we go to that changeup low in the zone to Alberto Cayaspo, and Cayaspo is sent back to the bench. So here in the bottom of the 11th inning, this one's hit to dead center field. That one is gone. A walk-off home run for Jason Worth and your 2013 World Series champions. The Washington Nationals come on to the field and they swarm Jason Worth as he has a walk-off home run here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Congratulations to the Nationals. As I said, your 2013 World Series champs.